Hello, Trinicon viewers. Trinicon here. With Fallout Excitement. Mainly just because, uh... I'm gonna do an update for the channel, what's going on. Uh... As you'll see, I recently completed Bloodborne. And now I've moved on to GTA. So, some comments about Bloodborne that some people didn't enjoy the Bloodborne playthrough as much as the... The Dark Souls playthrough, and maybe I was burnt out on the Souls games. Yeah, I think I am a bit burnt out on the Souls games, but to be honest, I, in the end, I didn't actually like Bloodborne as much as the Souls games. Mainly because uh, I just didn't like the combat in it. I didn't like any of the weapons. And I didn't like the feeling of the combat. It's not that it was bad, it was just not my kind of thing. I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. Maybe I thought it was gorgeous and super stylish and all that stuff, but even that got kind of so what after a while because all the locations kind of looked a bit too similar. But having said that, I think it's a great game. I just didn't massively enjoy it. I think because the element of the Souls games I like is the, the RPG elements, and they dumb them down in... Bloodborne, it was more of an action game, really. And if anything, I want the Souls games to get more RPG. Even the Souls games aren't RPG enough for me. I want them to be the size of Skyrim, free roam, you know. Don't mind trailblazing as long as with all these cool more, more locations and more plot. I know people say, oh, you've got to read up on wikis about the plot and all this. What kind of crap is that? I don't want to do that. I want to hear the plot in the fucking game, man. I don't want to earn... Like, I've earned the right to hear the plot. I mean, I don't get it. And I saw an interview with the Souls team. And they said that the lore, they kind of don't even care about it. They make it up after they design the boss. So they'll make some boss up and then they'll go, Alright, we need to come up with a reason why this boss exists. And then just make up some half-assed lore around it. But tons of people take this lore dead seriously just because they like the game. But FromSoft don't take it seriously. I saw an interview with them pretty much saying that. Because if you create an enemy first and then the law, then you don't take it seriously, then you don't care. And you can tell they don't. I think a lot of people think it's arty and it's kind of deep and it isn't. You know, the people reading too much into it really. So I don't care for the plots of any of the Souls games, but I want to care though, you know. I think there's some really cool ideas. And I think the design of the fantasy world in the Souls games is awesome. Better than most other RPGs, but they do more care about the gameplay and stuff, which is all good, that's that's the important bit anyway, but uh, that's why I called for help constantly from my buddy in that game, because I just couldn't get into the combat really, he liked it better than me I think, he pretty much finished it on his own without co oping with anybody, but I just couldn't get into it. As for Scholar of the First Sin, I'll probably do more bids on that, but I don't know when because of GTA. My like GTA I wasn't interested in when it was on the last gen machines. It kind of looked shit on them. My buddy got GTA on the Xbox One and it looked pretty good, but it looks really good on PC. Actually, surprisingly, I'm enjoying playing it. I didn't think I would. I thought I was bored of GTA, having played the third one to death and Vice City and San Andreas. And I played the fourth one a little bit. I was burnt out on it, but it's so good graphics on the PC anyway. It's such a fully realized world. It's quite stunning looking. But I'm actually enjoying playing it a bit too much, really. I wasn't planning on doing any Let's Plays of that game because it's already old now. It came out like a year ago, technically. We're behind with it, really. But... I might do, I might do a different character per, like my characters that I do, I might do a different character per character in in GTA, and I'm not gonna do a normal let's play where I just shoot each mission that comes after each other, I'm just gonna randomly make vids on whatever missions amuse me, I'm not gonna follow the plot, I'm not even gonna do it in order either, I might do a mission, I might do the 10th mission and then the next video might be the second mission, because most people have already played that game anyway, so who cares? So that's what I might do, but uh, 
currently working on doing more machinimas. You know, the Rockstar editor is not bad, but it's nowhere near as good as Skyrim for making vids. You know, you can't do the equivalent of a battle vid with GTA. You know, Godzilla. Something like that would be like Godzilla stomping around, smashing buildings down. That would be the equivalent of a battle vid, and I can't do anything like that. So we're waiting for mods, really. So in the meantime, these other vids are just sort of mucking around, just seeing how the editor works. We're really at the mercy of the mod community. Rockstar retweeted the uh, 80s car montage I did. It didn't help much views wise, even though they have 4 million Twitter followers. I don't really get Twitter. The, tw the Twitter followers are the equivalent of die like subs on YouTube and they don't pay attention. I don't know. People have been asking where the next TJ Laser is doing uh, Mass Effect 1 because of all this other stuff, Bloodborne and now GTA. I haven't got around to it. But, uh, eventually it'll turn up. The views haven't been great on it though. Obviously not that many people are bothered about watching TJ and his adventures in Mass Effect 1. But I didn't used to make TJ more than once a month anyway, so it hasn't been a month since the last episode yet, I don't think. So for new people, I don't tend to do it very often, because it's an annoying video to make. Dynasty Warriors, uh, still trying to do more stuff with that. So Frothgo's ambition is fully realized. But again, you've got to play that a lot to get one video up, because... You know, I have to have these silly characters bump into each other and stuff, and you have to level up in order to conquer. So they can't go up that often either. So uh, bear with me on all the, uh, the random shit that goes on this channel. Getting off the subject of games, anybody who is on my Twitter saw that I saw Birdman recently and really loved it. Normally I moan about the state of the film industry, and still I do moan, it's still a mess, but that was a good fucking movie. Really funny. Best I've seen Michael Keaton since the early 90s. Ed Norton, best I've seen him since Fight Club. Interestingly directed, Hitchcock rope style. And uh, it was good. It was funny and it was... Uh, I see it's got kind of a bit of hate on IMDb, I think, because a lot of kids don't get it. They just don't get the jokes. They don't... Uh, You've got to be semi-intelligent to understand the movie, I think. Unfortunately, not many people are. Look at what's popular on YouTube to prove that. But, it was a good movie. And Gone Girl, I saw Gone Girl Finch's new one. That wasn't bad, I didn't love it. It was a bit implausible. But it was kind of interesting, though. Entertained me. It was at least a grown-up movie. Still no word from Bethesda on Fallout 4 though. This is really what I'm looking forward to playing. Of course Witcher 3 comes out next month, isn't it? Geo, the co-guy on this channel, tells me that uh, that's going to be able to be modded and, and uh, do kind of editing videos with it and stuff, but I'll, I'll believe that when I see it. It would be cool if it does. I'm actually cutting together a video of uh, little clips from all the stupid movies that I tend to quote a lot. Uh, people never get the references. Some people do and some people don't, so... Sometimes it's funny. It's not funny if you don't get the reference. <laughs> a lot of my stuff is just in-joke shit. Then I don't tend to cur, really. I actually never actually... Uh, try to be funny in videos particularly um, I just the shit I come out with is ten, is ten to what I just say when I'm playing games on my own really minus the stupid voice but I'll often scream out bullshit and quotes to myself <laughs> I don't know why because I'm movie obsessed so movie quotes will just randomly enter my mind something will remind me of some dumb movie but anyway, I'm making this random video anyway so it doesn't get copyrighted with something I'm gonna put that up and so a lot of people who don't get the quotes will understand the meaning of the lunacy. It's always good to spot when someone spots what the quotes are off or whatever. 
Yeah, I don't know what else to talk about today, really. Just an update vid, really, just to let people know what's going on. But uh, not in a particular rant mood today or anything like that. I'm so busy, I'm sort of in a bit of a drone. Trying to make these machinimas, they're not half time consuming. You end up on it all goddamn day. With strained eyes and a sore back, etc. It's not like doing Let's Plays, it's more of a pain in the ass. So, so anyway, that's what's going on, guys. And keep supporting the channel and thanks again to those patrons because believe me the channel would be dead and buried and quit if it wasn't for those warriors to become a patron check the links below to try and help this channel because it's a channel on life support <laughs> most people don't really know what kind of stalwart work they're doing but thanks again guys and stay tuned for more GTA and and so forth see you later